Hello children. Today we shall go through lesson 3 Expansion of the British power in India. The British who came to India for trade gradually became the political master of India. For their good they used various policies like Velazeli's subsidiary alliance and Dalhaji's doctrine of lapse to annex the Indian states. The Britishers annexed most of the Indian states in the period of 90 years between 1764 AD to 1856 AD. After getting the Diwani of Bengal, Bihar and Odisha, the British turned their eyes on Mysore. Mysore was the most prominent state in South, which was headed by Hyder Ali who was ambitious to expand his estate. He expanded his estate up to the sea coast with the victory of Malabar. This alarmed the British. This victory alarmed the British. Seeing the increasing influence of Hyder Ali, they felt insecure. Therefore, in between 1767 AD to 1799 AD, Four wars were fought between the Kingdom of Masur and the British. These wars were as follows. First anglo masur War in 1767-1769 AD. Second anglo masur War 1780-1784 AD. Third anglo masur War 1791-1792 AD. And fourth Anglo Masur War was in 1799 AD. Let us know about these wars in detail one by one. The story of these wars will tell you how the British expanded their power across India in the past. The first Anglo Masur War. In this war, Masur under Hyder Ali gained success against the British. The Treaty of Madras was signed between Hyder Ali and the British. The Second anglo masur War Hyder Ali was defeated in this war. His son Tipu Sultan continued the war. The war ended with the signing of a treaty, the Treaty of Mangalore. The Third anglo masur War This war ended with the defeat of Tipu Sultan. He signed the Treaty of Srirangapattam with Lord Cornwallis. The Fourth anglo masur War The British captured the capital of Masur, Srirangapattam. The ruler of Masur, Tipu Sultan, was killed in this battle. No treaty was signed. In this way, we can see how the British had expanded their power in India and became the master of our country. After capturing Shirangapattam, the next target of the British was the southwestern part of India. The Marathas had established a powerful empire in southwestern part of India. But after the defeat at Panipat in the third war of Panipat in 1761, Maratha power got split. Let us see the five centers of Maratha power. These were Peshwas, the head of Marathas, Pune, Bhosles in Nagpur, Gaikwads in Baroda, Holkas in Indore and Sindhyas in Gwalior. The chief leaders of Marathas focused their attention on Pune and competed among themselves to get the post of Peshwa. Such circumstances were developed which gave an opportunity to the British to take an advantage of the mutual discord between the Maratha Sardars. 
Thus, four Anglo-Maratha wars were fought between the British and the Marathas. These were as follows. The first Anglo-Maratha war was in 1775 to 1782 AD. The second Anglo-Maratha war was in 1803 AD. The third Anglo-Maratha war was in 1804 to 1805 AD and the fourth Anglo-Maratha war was in 1807 AD. Let's know about these wars in detail one by one. The first Anglo-Maratha war. This war continued for 7 years. The Treaty of Salabai was signed in 1782. There was no clear victor. The Second Anglo-Maratha War. In this war, the Marathas were defeated. This defeat was a severe blow to their power and prestige. Sindhya was compelled to sign the Surji Anjan Gaon Treaty. Bhosle was compelled to sign the Deo Gaon Treaty. The Third Anglo-Maratha War. In this war the British succeeded in the war against Holkars. Rajpur Ghat Treaty was signed in 1806 AD. The Fourth Anglo-Maratha War. This was the last war between the Marathas and the British. The combined army of the Marathas was defeated by the British army. The state of Bajirao II was merged into the British Kingdom.